and welcome back to the Authentically Ariel in my YouTube channel. Hey, I am back like I never even left. Y'all, y'all, when I say last month, February, Pollen tried to take me out of here. That groundhog saw his little, his little shadow or whatever, and honey, Pollen has been trying to take me out. But by the grace of God, I am here. <laughs> I'm here. I had missed the job. Did y'all miss me? I had missed the job. I had missed the job. And did y'all miss me? But I'm glad to be back. Uh, so much more coming. Like I promised, I ain't forgot about y'all. Trust me, I was thinking about y'all in my sick bed, okay? Me and God had been deliberating. And I'm, I'm, we, we got some stuff coming. We got some stuff coming. This video, I want to put y'all on game to what I feel like is coming for the next fall and winter season. I'm a fashion girl, okay? I love a good trend. I love a good staple. And fashion week, that's that's... Oh my gosh, I love Fashion Week so bad. And I have been just really observing and studying and getting to know what the different trends for the next fall and next winter is going to be. And I want to put y'all on game. So honey, I got my iPad right here with no case on it. So of course you know it's cracked up, but I must work with it anyway. <laughs> I got her right here and I wrote down some of the trends, the five trends that I know, I feel, I, I, I just feel feel is gonna be this fall and winter season okay let's get into it so the number one trend that i noticed for this upcoming fall and winter you heard it here first people but miss cool colors all them cool colors your blues your greens your purples they are going to be it colors this fall and winter season miss red we don't have fun with her she done came in she got the party live honey she was doing her ones and twos throughout last year and this year because honey miss red miss red she done came in she done had a good time at the party but honey she is getting her coat on she getting her purse she putting on her lipstick and she starting her little goodbye conversations because honey by the time this summer is over we are going to be transitioning into cool colors so miss green miss blue miss purple they pulling up to the party now miss green and miss blue they definitely outside they probably carpool but miss purple she right around the corner okay they gonna be stepping in pretty soon some colors that i noticed that's, that's gonna help us transition from miss warm in the summer to miss cool in the winter is creamsicle orange and mustard yellow honey don't count them out this fall when we when the weather starting to get a little cool outside and the pillsbury pumpkin cookies you know the cookies with the little pumpkin stamp on there honey we're gonna be wearing mustard yellow and creamsicle orange to help transition into the colors like this like this periwinkle or your lapis your cerulean your your turquoise and hunter green hunter green is definitely that color she's gonna be that color this fall and this winter Hunter green and kind of like navy blue. That's those specific colors are like my observation or my interpretation of what's gonna happen this fall and winter. But honey, one thing's for sure and two things for certain, we gonna be in the cool colors this winter. That's for sure. Now trend number two that's gonna be hot for this winter is coats. Coats, coats, coats. Anything that has to do with coats or layering. So scarves, uh, capes coats all of that they are gonna be real hot this summer especially for my boos that live up north especially for my boos that actually get like real winter i get real winter i'm from florida so real winter to me is like anything under 70 degrees honey coats coats scarves capes all the things leather coats fluffy coats fur coats big coats jackets all the things honey this mob life trend has definitely been set off by the runway. It is definitely taking a big influence on some of the designers and from what I saw. So leather coats and fur coats are definitely going to be big. But scarves, capes, all the things when it comes to layering up this winter, it's going to be big. We're going to be layered up. We're going to be bundled, bundled up. We're going to be bundled up, and then we're going to be bundled up. <laughs> I also will say, I wrote down that there, I, which I did notice, I did notice that there was a lot of leather statement pieces this year. So, honey, we got some leather skirts, some leather dresses, some leather shirts, leather pants, just a few little leather statements. So, you don't have to just rely on the jacket, honey. You can do a jacket skirt combo, jacket pant combo. It's going to be 
really kind of leathery summer. Shout out to the mod wife aesthetic for giving us that, you know, that leathery feel. We love to see it. Y'all come, y'all trying to give Carmela Soprano and I'm here for it personally. Now, trend number three that I noticed for the fall and winter season is that the six the 60s are back, honey. The 60s are back. And I'm personally here for it. I love the 60s and the fashion trends that was really popular back then. So, honey, I'm here for this one. You know them pictures of your grandma sitting in the den and she was in the 60s with her little turtleneck and her skirt suit on? You remember them pictures of your old auntie sitting in her den and she got the tweed suit on? Honey, just old pictures in general. Babe, the 60s are back. From tweed to turtlenecks to trench coats, especially A-line trench coats. I've seen a lot of trench coats this season. So I feel like trenches are back. That also goes with coats. We love to see it. We love a, we love a crossover. <laughs> so trenches, A-line dresses, tweed, all the things. All the things that made the 60s cute. Miss Turtleneck, I never gave Miss Turtleneck up. I like her. I've always liked her. The 60s are back with a vengeance, honey. They said, the 90s, y'all could, y'all could clear it up. We got it. We got it. We gonna show y'all how Jackie Kennedy and Diana Ross did it, okay? We, we gonna show y'all how to do it. We gonna give y'all that, that feminine, that old school feminine class. And I love to see it. I personally love to see it. If you don't want to look dated, but still want to give Diane Carroll realness, then you can take a few turtlenecks. You can pair it with some nice mini skirts and some tights. Got you some there, girl. Or you can take a tweed jacket and try to find a matching pair of tweed pants or tweed skirt. Mm, you're working with something there, so you're still giving that, you know, you, but you still, you still give it, okay? Trend number four. Trend number four I'm personally here for because calling all elite employees. You have been promoted. <laughs> You are now one of my elite employees. You are now an elite employee because this fashion week, honey, workwear was everywhere. With shows like Scandal, Suits being like the popular show, honey, Miss Workwear was everywhere. So for all my in-office babies, if y'all trying to give, oh, I can turn an account and still turn a look at the cooler at the break room, oh, honey. Honey, this one's for you. This one is for you. Now for my babies that work from home or just still wanna get in on a trend, honey, you can still wear work wear anywhere if you want to. If you wanna come in and still get elite employee, you definitely can. You can mix work wear with casual wear by wearing maybe a blazer with like a nice sweatsuit combo in a way. Hmm, I'll have to find something like that. Or you can mix work wear with athleisure because athleisure is never going anywhere. Honey. This fit trend. If you watched the last video, you know why I love this fit trend personally. Because I'm calling it get in your bag. Literally bag so big you can just like get in there. Like genuinely put two feet in there and sit down. Because large bags, oversized bags, that was the trend when it comes to handbags for this fall winter season. We are done with the Jock Mess Les Shaquito bag. We're, we're done with her. We, we don't want her no more. She can't even hold a lip gloss good. She just hold a little bit of change. We don't want her no more. We want the big bags, okay? So I saw a lot of big, oversized, fluffy bags, tote bags, large crossbodies, things of that nature. This one, you're going to be able to pack a few more than just your necessities, honey. You're going to be able to put you a few groceries in there if they ran out of bags at the store. <laughs> You're going to be able to put a few things in there and walk on out, honey. It's, it's going to be given. You know what else I've noticed, which I'm excited about, is bag accessories and bag charms are big. And I love to see it. So, so set your bag off with a few charms, with a few chains. Make your bag a little different. Give her a little spice. She need a little spice in her life. Okay? So bags, bag charms, all the things, they big this season. And I can't wait to see y'all with it. Okay? Now, I want to give a few honorable mentions to metallics. I've seen a lot of metallics. A few, not a, not a lot, a lot, but enough to say, hmm, let me write her down metallics especially metallic statement pieces so metallic dresses metallic blouses things of that nature so your golds your bronzes your platinums and silvers don't don't shout her out don't shut her out too much 
this upcoming fall or winter. Platform heels are also here to stay, which I say praise the Lord because I love a good platform heel. Now, for my babies, don't worry. Don't worry. Kitten heels, ballet flats, they're still here. They still met, letting their mommy be known. And honey, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. Miss Kitten, she is still purring on that catwalk, okay? She's still here. For my babies that don't even wear heels, Lally Flats are still here. And, and... They have statements now. It's not just your basic ballet flats. Some of them have straps. Some of them have embellishments. It's it's a good season when it comes to shoes. I'm really excited. It's a little bit for everybody this year. And y'all, that is my five observations from this fall winter 2024 fashion week. From all, all the locations. I didn't really pay too much attention to Miss New York because she's kind of underwhelming to me. But from all the European fashion weeks, these are what I saw the most. And I'm so, so excited excited to see you guys in your new trends, in your blues, in your workwear, with your large bag, in your coat, looking cute, looking warm this fall and winter. Even if it's only 69 degrees, I want to see you in the biggest, baddest, furthest coat. I want to see you in the big fur coat and I'm going to be so here for it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I missed it y'all. Let me know if you like this. I have another video in mind and uh, I'm gonna make a community post about it because I wanna know if y'all wanna see it. Cause I have some thoughts that I have been thinking and I just, I wanna know what y'all are into. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, and share. Share with your grandma pet squirrel. Cause you know, you know me and her go way back. Me and her go way back. And um, we'll see y'all later. Bye.